time for more Dank and Rampa. It's locked as expected. So what are you going to do? What? Isn't it obvious we're going to tear this door off its hinges? Huh? Wait, but the rules say... We've seen that mastermind isn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. But... But like Makoto said, if the mastermind did show up... While we're in there. So in other words. Then we'll just have to finish our business before that can happen. Hey. Okay, sure, but. What? We've come this far. We can't back down now. We agreed this is what we have to do. So we have to do it. <laughs> so beautiful. I mean. For serious? We don't have any choice. We're desperate. Okay. Let's do it. Let's rip this door down. Actually. Okay, but how are we going to do that? This thing looks pretty sturdy. Hmm. Then we'll need something sturdy of our own. Oh, what about that one thing? The thing in the tool shed. Oh, so then. Oh yeah, the pickaxe. I see. Interesting. That could very well be exactly what we need. Hm. Now then, Toko, what time is it? <laughs> well, when we left the gym, it was just before 9 o'clock, so it's probably 9 on the dot now. It's all clear now. Okay, go get the pickaxe. Be back here by 9.01. That's straight up unreasonable. I... by myself? Naturally. Surely you like to have your me time once in a while, right? <laughs> well, if it's me and you time, Master, then yeah. What? You know how much time it took you to say that? 10 seconds. Take too long and I'll erase your existence from my consciousness. <laughs> Unacceptable. With that, Toko ran off, loud as a herd of rabid elephants. For serious though, are we just gonna knock this door down? Hm. No problem is solved by running away. Find your stones and be a man. He's right. You can't move forward by always avoiding danger. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, 
you'll never move forward. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Am I wrong? Even if it's dangerous, we have to overcome the challenges in front of us. Uh, um. Maybe, but I'm still super stressed. I'm so tense I can hardly talk. I'm all flubbust. I'm totally flabag, flap staff, fap sauce. Gross! Where'd that come from? Wait, genocide, Jill. Where'd you come from? You called for me, and so I appear. Genocide. Hello, it's one differous murderous fiend here to greet you. Come on. What about the pickaxe? Where is it? I was supposed to pick an axe? No, you seeping imbecile, the pickaxe. Seeping imbecile, oh master, you wound me with your executive level barbs. Here comes the bloody nose. Seriously, though, did you really forget the pickaxe? Give it a rest. Omega-3 fatty acids, that's what you need. Great for the old memory factory. But I think we already established that their memory doesn't carry over when they switch. Not possible. This is a level of uselessness I find it difficult to tolerate. Ah, the light bulb just went on. I see. That's why I went to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe. <laughs> Alright, we've solved one mystery. That means there's just one mystery left. One more mystery? Hmm. Have you reached that certain age? Yep, now we just need to figure out what the identity of Object X. Now what are you talking about? Did you already forget what we were talking about? You're like missing out on life. You've gotta be kidding. I'm not missing out on life. In fact, I found one in the garden. What? What did you find? <laughs> corpse? You SOB! Did you hear me? I said corpse. A corpse? Yep. That's right, I found a corpse in the garden. You found a corpse in the garden. What did you say? Well then, before we enter the headmaster's room, it appears we have something else to look into. Come on. We're going to the garden. Okay. As soon as we entered the garden, I saw it. I didn't want to, but... I saw someone lying on the ground with a mask covering their face. And there was a knife. Buried in their stomach up to the hilt. What the... Are they really dead? For sure, but who is it? Just to make things clear, last night I was attacked by someone wearing a mask. And whoever that was, now they're... I don't know why, but now they're laying dead in front of me. <laughs> I told you there's a corpse hanging out here. No way. Are they really dead? Is this really a dead body? What? 
You need to begin looking around right away. However, be ever so careful. There's no telling what you might find. We need to find out who this actually is. But there's no way to tell with the mask covering their face like that. And the white coat they're wearing makes it impossible to tell anything about the body itself. The victim is a total mystery. But one thing I do know... Is that whoever this is, they attacked me last night in my room. But why? How did they wind up dead in here? Hmm. Their heart isn't beating. They're not breathing. All signs of life have come to a complete stop. Thanks to the knife that's been driven into their stomach, their clothes are stained a bright red. It appears the bleeding has stopped, but the blood there is still wet. Be careful you don't touch it and get some on you. Uh, um. How can you be so calm at a time like this? Who is it? Their face and body are all hidden, so I don't have a clue. I'm pretty sure it's a girl, at least. Huh? How can you tell? Well, I think I see the outline of her chest and the general shape of the body. Yeah, the more I look, the more I'm sure it's a girl. Really? Then could it be? Okay then. Let's just tear the mask clean off. Come on. Wait, don't. But by the time he called out, it was already too late. Toko's hand shot out toward the mask. And in the next instant... There was a blinding light and a deafening roar. The body blew up. It blew up, it blew up, it blew up. My vision started to darken. I prepared to pass out. Come on. But then... Hurry up, put out the fire. As my consciousness attempted to float away, that voice reached up and pulled it back down to earth. Someone pressed something into my hands. It was a bucket of water. Come on, dump the water on it. Okay. The upper half of the body was on fire. I took aim and tossed the water as hard as I could. Thankfully, that was enough to put out the fire. It died down, leaving behind only the unpleasant smell of burning. I guess that took care of it. But what the hell, man? It exploded? What did you say? I had a bad feeling about that body, but I never imagined it would explode. And now the body... What? It's burnt to a crisp. That's beyond well done, man. Don't compare it to a steak. I'll never be able to eat steak again. But now that the body's charred, I really have no idea. How are we going to find out who it was? Hmm. Who isn't here right now? Huh? What? 
If we consider who's not here, that will quickly narrow down who it must be. Um. There's only one person missing. Uh, um. It's Kyoko. Kyoko. Then that dead body is Kyoko? No, that can't be right. Calm down, I didn't say it was Kyoko. But, but I mean, who else? <laughs> there is one other person. In other words. The mastermind. What? The Mastermind? What the heck? Come on, there's no way the Mastermind got charbroiled. Get serious. Hm. I agree, normally the idea wouldn't be worth considering. But I have reason to believe it may be true. The Mastermind being dead would explain that other matter, wouldn't it? Monokuma can hardly move around if its master is dead. But that corpse is a girl, right? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, remember what Alter Ego said? So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late thirties. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in this school right now. He said the mastermind is some middle-aged dude, right? Which the corpse obviously isn't. Then could that mean the mastermind isn't the headmaster? Is it... The teenage girl Kyoko told me about, the ultimate despair. Huh? Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student at Hope's Peak. What are you talking about? The other day, Kyoko confided in me. She said there was a 16th student here in the school. I think you better tell us everything you know. Well, all Kyoko told me was... Mikuro Ikusaba, the 16th student lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. It sounded like Kyoko thinks Mikuru Ikasaba is the mastermind. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind, I'm sure of that. What? I don't have any proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. There's another student here, and it's a female, that would match the body's characteristics. In that phrase, the ultimate despair, it sounds super mastermindy, doesn't it? Okay, so the mastermind is this girl, M Mukuro, and she's a student here? But if she's been hiding here in the school like some teenage Bigfoot, how'd she wind up burnt to a crisp? None of this makes any sense to just suddenly show up and then die. Hmm. I think we'd better take a closer look at that body. There may be some clues to help us figure out exactly who it is. Ah, ah hey, wait. What? Um. Aren't we forgetting something? You know, Toko? Oh yeah, she got totally blown up, huh? Hmm. Forget about her. I'm sure the explosion vaporized her. Mm. Ah. 
Oh, she survived. Oh, she survived. Huh? What just happened, Master? Stop talking. You declared for the whole world to hear that you would never again inhale a single molecule of oxygen. <laughs> oh, then I don't mind breathing in the carbon dioxide you exhale. That's enough for me to live. This is the strangest back and forth I've ever seen. I should take a close look at the body one more time. Watch yourself, Makoto. She may be dead, but she's still a girl. Don't worry, I don't plan on touching the body all that much. I'm not Kyoko after all. There's something next to the body. It's... It's a key. Is it what Kyoko took from Monokuma? But what did you steal? So... I stole this. A key? But looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the only key of its kind on Earth. That's right, the key she stole was shaped like Monokuma. This isn't anything like that. Then this key is... What? What is it? Did you find something? Yeah, this was on the ground near the body. I've never seen this key before. What could it possibly go to? So even you don't know, then. Hmm. Makoto, I'm going to give you a very important task. Huh? I see. That key might give you access to certain areas we thought were locked. You mean... So, in other words... The bio lab, the data center, the headmaster's room, and the dorm rooms on the second floor. It's in your hands. So, I'm your errand boy now? Alright, well, I think that's where we're going to end it today. Thanks for watching, and come see what happens next on Danganronpa. Bye for now.